Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Panama. So, Cole Hauser from Yellowstone. Everybody knows Cole Hauser now. Didn't know him so much back when, uh, you know, he did Dazed and Confused. But, uh, you know, he's a hot commodity now. All the ladies love him. Mel Gibson, he's been a ladies man for a while. Or, you know, ladies like him, I shouldn't say. He's been a ladies man. Um, Charlie Weber is also a name I recognize, but the picture I don't. So we'll see. Anyway, an ex-Marine is hired by a defense contractor to go down to Panama um, and help him complete an arms deal, but he gets caught up in the invasion of Panama um, and then learns a little bit of the importance of political something. I don't know. Other, I don't know. So, uh, it sounds political, which I'm not excited about, but here's even the worst news. 3.3 on IMDb and uh, only 578 people rated it so far so low amount of people we'll see 3.3 is not very um, exciting but let me get into it find out what it's about give you a better idea hour and 34 minutes long I'll be back hey everybody I'm at the credits of Panama no check-ins tonight I apologize to be honest with you, around, you know, up until past the check-in time that I normally do, I, it was hard for me to follow completely. And that could be me. Um, but I felt, I mean, I, I'm able to put it all together now. Not that it was intricate. It felt like it was just missing things or I wasn't hearing people or something like that. It just, I don't know. Um, so, I mean... So Mel Gibson is in this, but he's barely in it. He's more the um, narrator than he is anything else. Um, and uh, Cole Hauser, right? What's his name? First name? No, let me make double. But yeah, yeah. Cole Hauser. He's our main star, right? So he's the one who was recruited. Um, I get. He was in the military, um, and uh, he's recruited by Mel Gibson to go and basically. Um, buy a helicopter from some drug dealers so that they could use them against um, Noriega um, in the Panama whole time. So this all takes place in the 80s, and that makes it fun. You know, there's there's actual phones and stuff. You know, <laughs> um, and but uh, so that's what he's sent there to do. And at first, like I was like, okay, I almost forgot what he was gonna do. It it, it, it just I don't know for some reason it escaped me. I then put it together. Then he's like in the casino, so it seems like his undercover piece was to be part of the casino, you know, like a pit boss kind of thing, until he gets this helicopter. Really kind of odd. I don't know. And, and again, it could have just been me. Whatever. But, uh, you know, as you can imagine, uh, he's buying a helicopter through drug dealers, cartel kind of thing. And, uh, you know, not everything is going to go smooth and sailing and there's stuff going on and, you know, whatever. Um, you know, and then there's love interests and DEA agents and you know, just uh, everything you can imagine in a kind of movie like this. But, like I said, at first it was hard for me to follow. I got it. I'm like, okay. Uh, all makes sense. But it still felt throughout the rest of the film like odd. There was something off about this movie. Um, you know, and, and, you know, it's, it's not so much the acting, nothing like that. I mean, you get, once you start watching this film, you know what you're going to get. You're going to get this type of film, right? It's not going to be an Oscar na nominated film. Um, but it's going to be, you know, it's your typical drug, um, arms dealing kind of movie with cartel and secret agents, all that kind of stuff. Right, um, but there's just something about it that really felt off to me. And I've seen bad films, or I'll say B-rated films. Not saying that that's not what this is, but you know, films that have would appear to have a lower budget, although they had some two pretty good actors in it. Um, you know what I mean? But you get that kind of thing. Um, what I really enjoyed, real quick, was the opening scene. So the opening, not the opening scene, but the opening credits. They're rolling through and they're sharing, you know, who's a costume designer, who music, all that. And it's like done in a really cool way, I think. You know, first thing is on TVs, actual, uh, you know, tube TVs. But like it's it's on the side there, so you got to pay attention. It's on VCR tapes, 
and stuff like that and one time it injects and it comes out I thought that was a really cool way and I was enjoying the way that they shot that um, so check that out if you're gonna watch this movie make sure you pay attention to the opening credits if you're a fan of the 80s but um, I, I like that aspect of it but otherwise you know I just felt there were some other pieces and made it really strange um, and I don't really know how to put my finger on it, to be honest with you. You know, it, there's some, you know, poor lines, some dialogue that uh, either was written poorly or was acted poorly. Um, but all of that, I, I knew was going to happen. You know, I wasn't expecting, you know, um, blow or anything like that, right? Fantastic movie. But, um, but there's just still, I don't know how to explain it. I wish I could. I, I, I tried to think of like what it was. What is this thing? What am I missing? It, it just felt like there's... Not, it's not a noticeable gap, but there feels like there's gaps to me. And I don't know, you know, what it is or, you know, and, and sometimes I blame it on the, the lapse, the lapse, the lack of depth or, you know, um, you know, development and certain things. I don't know if that was necessarily it. I can't put my finger on it, but it just felt like it was missing pieces that I don't know I'm sorry I can't I can't help you and then you know I don't know it's not like I can't even explain it it's not like you know I'm trying to think through it is it the fact that we didn't know enough about the characters I think I knew enough to care um, even, yeah one last complaint and I'm gonna leave you go on this one was like you know Cole Hauser plays this you know uh, terrifying kind of guy right he's supposed to be I mean he's going down into Panama by himself to make deals with drug dealers right so he's got to be you know pretty good at what he does there's really only one scene of action with him I mean a good chase scene or two but there's only really one where like he shows potentially what he can do as a type of soldier kind of thing so I thought that was that was disappointing. Um, you know, you, I, I think they made you feel that way. He seems intimidating, but they don't do enough to. And, and you don't want it riddled with action. That's not what this movie was for. But I found that interesting as well too. So I don't know. You have to check it out if uh, if these types of movie. If you're interested in this, if you are, obviously you're watching this review. So you have to see how it makes you feel at the end of this movie. You know, I'm probably gonna give it a you know um, but there's just something about it and I can't put my finger on it so hopefully you check it out uh, maybe you'll have a better articulate way to explain what I can't uh, without spoiling it alright so hopefully I was helpful um, love to hear your thoughts if you figure this all out what are we missing alright thanks for tuning in Kimmel's Irish Pub